me and this guy mutually killed each other with grenades. But I think the evacuation is a really um, interesting part of this game because what you get is even if you, you lose, like even if your team loses, you sort of have this this opportunity to prove like competitively you're even worth as an individual player where you can say like, yeah, yeah the team my team lost, but uh, I you know they didn't get me, I was able to get out or, or that sort of thing and sort of like I feel like recoups that uh, that opportunity before putting everybody back in the lobby. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know if um, that helps, like, diffuse, you know, any negative feelings, you know, because, like, if you, if you take, like, a COD game and you, you, there's winning or losing and then you just dump everybody back in the lobby, I think people, to, to, I guess you would have to put this in quotations, but people's emotions are running high from the win or the loss. And I, I wonder if having that epilogue where, it sort of like remove, it like put some distance between the the victory slash win condition and the lobby. I wonder if that reduces the amount of animosity between players at the end, like in the lobby at the end of the match. I don't know. That's a like an interesting observation, I guess. Um, it uh, it's like interesting when. Uh, we're losing and I see the dropship and I feel like there's still like hope, you know, it's not just like this crushing defeat. Like if I can actually make it to the, uh, the dropship and get on board, it, uh, yeah. feels pretty good. Yeah. And especially, uh, I think it's interesting that they acknowledge things like, um, uh, hot, hot landing zone extractions. So, like if you're being shot at and you get in, they give you extra points. If you make it, they give you points. And if you're the only one on your team to make it, they give you like a sole survivor bonus or something. Um, and so there's a bunch of, a bunch of like little rewards like that, that they do to sort of, um, I feel like in that direction of sort of re recouping or patting you on the back, even though that, even though you lost or like you, your team lost, but you know, you, you know, you obviously did what you were supposed to do and good job for that, that right. sort of thing. Um, and I, I think that's kind of an interesting approach. And I think it's a, it's actually a, a very progressive and very, um, like it's, I think it's a good approach to take. Take control of as many hard points as you can. Patch me into them, and I'll take care of the rest. Bravo is under control, but hard points Alpha and Charlie are still open. I need you to get over there and patch me in. I love how at the capture points, the, the capture points are like these little devices with all these consoles, and when the when the AI gets there, they just start typing, and I just it's sort of like this, sort of like dur -dur 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 -dur. like there's a whole like full blown battle going on, and they're just busy like typing things into a computer at the, at the capture point, and they're just doing it so casually too. It's it's really like, it's great. It's uh, real life hacking. Oh, you. I think I finally fixed the stream. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I think my uh, my buffer size was too low, possibly. Okay, buddy. You're approaching Bravo. Watch for hostiles. We're losing Bravo! Okay, buddy, you're approaching Bravo. Watch for hostiles. The uplink's dead, man. You gotta clear up the hostiles in the area. They're messing with the signal. Uh. It's, it's interesting. I always think it's, it's really interesting the way that engagements occur in this game because I feel like there's a lot of merit, even in a lot of cases, to just backing off and letting somebody chase you. And you can just sort of like drop a grenade or, or do whatever you need to do um, while you're you know, sort of giving yourself a little bit of breathing room. And I don't know, it, it, there's a lot of like little things like that. Or um, 
dead man's trigger um Charlie's under attack. using dead man's trigger which is uh allows you to detonate all of your um of our mission goals. uh all of your grenades uh, well it detonates all of your satchel charges after uh after you're dead and so what you can do is you can drop a whole bunch of satchel charges at a uh at like a, a turret or a capture point and then if somebody kills you in taking the capture point it kills them by detonating all your satchel charges that you've set up around the uh the uh thing so it sort of like clears the point so nobody um Well, so you know what I find interesting about uh, just the traversal in this game is that, uh, you know, unlike Call of Duty, you actually feel like there's a little bit of opportunity to uh, escape and to recover uh, if you're playing properly versus just getting one-shotted from some, like, unknown direction and, and not really having any chance to, uh, to escape. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. Um, yeah, like just the opportunity to disengage and re-engage, like if I time everything properly, is uh, it makes it a lot more fun. They're uh, they're crawling all over the place down in the uh, the little like. Uh, Wash basin under the, the flood flood basin underneath uh, Point Bravo. They're they're crawling around down there. Well, I'm hiding in the grass, and this guy like cannot see me. This is just great. watch out for watch out for smart pistol users because they, yeah, uh, I know they spot you through everything. We got oh. Dude, I just punched that Titan so hard, that was great. <laughs> we got alpha. I just imagine that you just like problem. ran up as a pilot and just like punched the, ti the Titan no. the cap and it just detonated. Dude, the shield is really tough to use actually, uh, the Titan one. Oh, to catch bullets and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. One thing that's really interesting to me is, because uh, I think we're playing, uh, we're playing militia right now. But one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, I tend to reliably do better on. Uh, I, I think it's IMC if I remember correctly, um, because one team has blue visors and the other one has orange visors, and I'm able to notice the orange visors much more easily than the than the blue visors. Um, and I actually don't know if it always puts you. It might just always put you on uh, on a team. Like your team may always have blue visors, and the enemy may always have orange visors. Oh crap! But um, so you're saying that you find that it's easier to be on the blue team on this map just because, or just the, just generally, the, um, the visibility of the orange enemies is is much clearer. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I might. I might not know. It might be that that you're just the team that you're on always has uh, uh, blue visors, and the enemy always has orange visors. Like I, I'm not certain. Ah, oh, I wonder. But for some reason, I feel like, it, and it, it may just be be me like not paying good attention to what's going on. But for some reason, I feel like one team has blue visors and one team has orange visors. We should and, check as we play a couple more matches. Yeah. Because I always, I always find myself like I always notice uh, the orange visors um, when I'm playing, and I always feel like I do better when 
my, the enemy targets have orange visors, and I don't know if that's if it's consistently that they always have orange visors, but for some reason I have the impression that they don't always have orange visors. Um, so I don't know, but uh, I just think that that's interesting. I just wanted to throw out there that the uh, the hacking knife is is just like really awesome. Yeah, like whoever's idea it was to come up with that, like awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, too bad I can't get in someone else's Titan. Uh, that would I just, be... That I, would I went inside the dome shield and I got killed. I didn't realize that that was uh, going to happen. We just lost Bravo. They keep taking that automated gun and I keep yeah. having to take it back. We've been contested on Bravo for a good amount of time now. I guess it, it tracks to see... Um, how many? I wonder how much a uh, Titan counts for like because I'm I'm sure a Titan on capture point has like more like a more influence. Cause I I, would, I noticed that it doesn't like if it's one one player on each team there it says contested and capturing doesn't move. But if uh, if you bolt like if you have more players on one team in the site it will start capturing in their favor even if you have enemy soldiers on the site. Um, and so I wonder how much a Titan counts towards that, because I feel like if you put a, a, an enemy Titan on there, it it acts in the favor of ahead, a certain okay, number of, uh, it like counts for a certain number of players, and I wonder how many players that is. Like, if you drop a Titan, how many players can you block a capture from? Well, I don't know. I, I, I mean... A Titan on a, on a point is actually kind of easy to take down, like there's just a big sitting target. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I just mean like if, if you're like losing, really losing a point, and you're just like, I'm just going to shove this Titan right in, like I'm just going to stick this Titan here just to block the capture for a couple of Oh, seconds. like drop it right on top of the point or something. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if that's a viable strategy, like because... I, I get the impression that the Titan counts for maybe like two or three players, like that, that in terms of determining the value of the number of people of each team on the point. Um, and I wonder exactly how many that it counts for. We got Bravo. Just lost Alpha. Still doing good down there, but the IMC are catching up. Don't give them a chance to come back. <coughs> oh, jeez, they, uh... Yeah, they caught up. Oh wow. oh wow! They they Fall just robbed us. We just got uh, taking the cleaners. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I mean, it was it was close though, like super close. I didn't even realize that we were losing until I was like, oh, defeat what? I, I always think it's interesting that you have like the, this permadeath mode, and I don't think pilot kills in the epilogue count towards your towards your your final thing. But it's just it's interesting to have that. Yeah. There is a sniper around here. Yeah, there is. Oh, I, I just saw. I wish. Can I turn around and turn around? Uh, no. Oh. Oh yeah, you can't fire at the back window. That's interesting. You can only fire towards the evacuation. Yeah, I saw those snipers. We got lucky there. The uh, the ship landed in a in a good spot, like uh, at a very convenient time. Oh, it definitely. Did. The the one of the funniest things I've ever seen is someone drop jump for the drop ship, 
and a Titan fired a missile and just like blew it out of the sky just as he jumps for it. So instead of jumping into the dropship, he just jumps through the explosion and lands right, like goes through the explosion. When you get a chance, you should take a look at the burn cards because the burn cards are a very interesting element of this game. I think you have to be a certain rank before it introduces them. Okay. But they're kind of like um, kill streak perks, but you bring three of them in and they last uh, for one life. You have to choose when to deploy with them and they give you some very um some like major abilities like the ability to see uh enemy players and grunts through walls which i, I like to call disco skeletons because that's what it looks like to me um but um just they, they give you these abilities and it's interesting because i don't really use burn cards because i i always i forget to to like stock a burn like a, a burn card hand each time before going into to a match okay and but but people who use them definitely get like um a strategic advantage for example they can get a burn card that allows them to drop a titan right at the start of the match and you know that that change oh this this map is oh, the map i was telling you about the, where the bouncing off the trees yeah this because is it's it's really interesting because it allows you it, it takes advantage of how you stick to the wall and you run around the wall the the tree rotationally and it sort of allows they set it up in such a way that no matter where you you go you always end up somewhere advantageous you don't have to feel like you know you don't have to be really really skillful with the the uh, with the wall running to, to get anywhere particularly interesting in this level and so you can you it just it makes it so incredibly easy. It, you just feel awesome um, doing it. Oh, dude! I mean, yeah, you can you can tell already. Like this level is just set up perfectly for the parkour. Like the level designer really like knew what they were doing. It's I mean it's it's phenomenal. It's it really is phenomenal. Um, oh, somebody shooting me. Um, What was I going to say? Another thing that's interesting about the zip lines in this game, because you have those rocket boosters uh, on your butt, the, the butt boosters or whatever you want to call them, um, you can go up zip lines instead of just down them. Um, okay. And so that that allows, I mean, that's not something you really see in other games. And I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a subtle little thing, right, that you can go, that you have two-way zip lines in Titan. But I feel like that actually changes the dynamics um, of of how, how players navigate the space because you can actually uh, get to higher locations instead of from, from high points to low points using zip, zip lines. And um, it, I just I think that's kind of interesting. You know, I'm curious, if I, if I wall run on one of these trees, cause I, can I just like sort of revolve around it over and over and over again? Because I'd be interested to know if I could do that. Oh, that was okay, interesting. In Jump kick, huh? I uh, was okay, trying to hit a uh, to shoot to or a throw a grenade at an oncoming player, and apparently there was someone behind me with a rifle that I didn't know about, and I accidentally hit C instead of F, and so I just whipped around and kicked the person in the face on accident. Um... Oh, there you are. Yeah. I just came flying in here and kicked that person in the face. I, I have to say that the, the jump kicks in this game are tremendously satisfying, especially when you just sort of come out of nowhere. You know, it's sort of like te a kung fu kick from 10,000 miles away. You just come swooping in and... and uh, I must admit, like, I am a, a bit shocked that this game wasn't more popular or didn't have more um, longevity because... It's actually like, like quite good. I mean, I I normally would be uh, frustrated with a multiplayer in a game like Call of Duty at this point, but um, th there's just so much going on here. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's. I, mean, I really think it's. Oh, I just got got sniped. I think it's really, you know, got a lot to it. I, the, the one thing that I think is unfortunate, I think we were talking about, is that I think a lot of what I consider the high like high level play of the game is not it's not super intuitive like wall running on first 
floor wall, so you can get going really, really fast, like in this game. Not necessarily, not necessarily like tribes fast, but you can get going pretty, pretty darn fast and get from point to point really, really quickly. And it, it's that when the thing is, is that the way the tutorial teaches the, the parkour, it sort of gives you the impression that the, the parkour is something you use to get over obstacles and also to get. Um, like that you use for, for sort of like wall running on second floor buildings and stuff like that. And it, it wasn't until I started watching uh, people streaming on Twitch um, that I realized that running on first floor walls to get places um, is probably probably your best bet because you can you can you can. Um, you can get going really, really fast, and that you Our use that the, the bunny the hop to sort of skip like a stone to get to the next wall, and it, it that didn't initially like that didn't in, in, intuitively occur to me that that was sort of the way to do it. That if you minimize your contact with the ground, um, you're going to have far more momentum in uh, traversing the space, and. Well, this is what we were talking about before, where you kind of have that okay, that whole this floor is lava thing going on. Yeah, it, I mean, and they even they even have that game mode, right. uh, uh, Deadly Ground, that sort of encourages that. Um, but hey, man, check your hut. There, the I don't think there's anything specifically that states. Uh, you know, that states to the player, like, by minimizing your contact with the ground, you maintain momentum, and, and, and the thing is, 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 the surfaces, I, I almost wonder if they have, uh, when they were building these levels, if they had, uh, some sort of, um, an, an entity or some sort of logic set up that actually, um, sort of like pre-designates a parabola when you leave a certain surface so it's like if I jump off of this tree I'm going to follow this preset trajectory through this window or that sort of thing so it feels like you have more control over it. I don't know if they do that or not but it, it feels like it, it feels like that in some ways where where they, they're handling a lot of the stuff for you to make you feel more great so either that or they just were super super careful with how they set up the angles on on faces, like the, the faces, because certain things just line up so naturally um, in terms of how you, you move through the level that it feels like when I press the space bar at any moment, I'm going to go to another surface where I can keep wall running, whether or not I intended to do that. And by not feeling like I intended to do it, it kind of makes me feel like I know what I'm doing more than I actually know what I'm doing, which is a really nice feeling. Yeah, like, uh, it's um, really forgiving. Like you can just kind of have fun with it, and then the more you do it, you kind of just like organically get better at it without yeah. realizing that you are. Yeah, that's that's definitely. Um, I think the biggest the biggest challenge that you know, uh, I mean, I, I ran into something for this in, in Shadow Tag, but but one of the things I, that you find with this is something like a parkour system or any kind of alternate movement system, especially when the game on the surface resembles other games, is getting people into a different state of mind about how they should be approaching the space. Especially, especially verticality, because it seems like one of the biggest challenges in games and just, just ge design generally, but just uh, like spatial design in games, is getting players to look upwards uh, and consider like consider, you know, because as, as humans we're not particularly vertically inclined when it comes to how we deal with things in our, our daily lives. I mean, the only time I look up is if I get something off of a shelf or maybe if I'm rock climbing, which I don't do very often. But just like getting people to consider verticality naturally is just very, very tough, it seems like. I'd be interested to know more about how their parkour tech works, like if it's a... Uh, a thing where like the the level designer has to go through and meticulously like tag every surface, or if uh, if it's just like a, a really like uh, intuitive system that the the game kind of understands like uh, what should be parkour on and not based on like the normals and like the slope and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, from from what I I read, I mean I remember reading uh, I think it was 
the final days, like is that they have the, the, the guy who does, uh, he did uh, Final Hours Portal 2, Final Hours uh, Tomb Raider, and then Final Hours Titanfall. And I guess one of the big things with that was that there was a, a big uh, dispute, or not really a big dispute, but that there were there was a dispute between the art team and the, uh, the design team over how to decorate the walls in Titanfall because the wall running requires so many flat surfaces that the, I mean, the, the, the art team, I think, really wanted to do more decoration and have more, like, more detail and stuff in the levels on the surfaces. But the, when you have like pipes and stuff like that that interfere with the player's ability to wall run, it, 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 so it became sort of like an aesthetics versus gameplay sort of uh, conflict, and I, I guess that was a, a big thing on this project. Was. How the fuck do I eject? Oh, here we go, sorry. I was like trying to eject. Oh no, I'm gonna miss the dropship. Oh no. I'm on top of the dropship. Oh, I got what? I landed on top of the dropship and got inside of it. That was, that was, that was great. That was, uh, ridiculous, dude. I, like, ejected out of my Titan, and I was, like, flying down. It's like, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, you know, it, it's... It, it's interesting, because I I often wonder why... why I mean, it is a new, a new IP, and I feel like... Because even, like, something like Call of Duty... Call of Duty didn't really hit its stride until Call of Duty 4... And yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Yeah, and I, I mean, it, it, because Call of Duty started on the PC, right? It did the original one. Did the original one have a console version? I, I, I'm not, I'm terribly unfamiliar with with console. Call of Duty one. J just the very first one, yeah. Call of Duty. Um. Um. Uh, they, I think it might have. They might have released Call of Duty for console after the fact, like with uh. Like an updated like Xbox Live Arcade thing or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I I think that it's it's often tricky um, to to get people because I I feel like people sort of um, approach a game or approach anything like a teapot or anything design wise based on previous expectations. And so when you see something like Titanfall and it looks similar to something that is as well known as Call of Duty, I feel like getting people to shift their mindset from that that. I need to, to, you know, like I'm playing the ground and I'm, it's all about like when do I, I scope up, when do I, I move, uh, you know, in terms of uh, turning the, the like that, that, that Call of Duty sort of is a very, like if, if you play the, the ground floor and, and there's, you move from cover to cover and that, that's, it's, it's that sort of, um, that sort of thought process and it, uh, it's like, it, it's, I mean, another okay, example that is, is uh, I mean, I don't think anybody who would be watching this would know, but, but like with, with, with Shadow Tag, uh, a lot of people, when they see it, compare it to screen cheat, right? And it, it's, yeah. and so getting people to, to, because the color scheme and the art style are, are, are similar, and it, they also have a similar mechanic in which, like, you can't see each other, but in, in, in Shadow Tag, you can see each other's shadows, and there's a bunch of stuff, but anyways, but, but that... Uh, after immediately after Screen Cheat came out, I had a lot of playtesters that were eye. trying to look at each other's screens to, to figure out where the other person was. And because there's a parkour system in Shadow Tag and players move so quickly, you it's not a viable strategy because by the time you look back at your screen, they're halfway they, yeah they've the already map. moved. And but so anyways, the the, the it's, it's that similar thing. It's, it's people looking at uh, their their previous expectations, which is what what all people do with with all. Um, with all all things, right? It's like this is my previous experience with an object or a, 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 a art form or whatever, or a medium or a you know an interface that looks like this. And so I'm going to use it based on my previous experience. And when it differs from my previous experience, it's going to throw me off. And uh, either that, or I'll never move beyond what what I my my previous experience into the realm of because because I think that unless unless somebody spends uh, enough time to, to get into Titanfall for what Titanfall is. Oh. Is, is uh, Bernard calling you? Uh, yeah, he's he's calling. Um, should I just switch over to that one? Uh, just invite him to this one. Okay. Uh, how do I add... Add to call. Add to call. Where is Mr. Helen? Where is he? Oh, this, 
list of names. I'm trying to just put in Bernard's, uh, and he should show up. Oh, there, there we go. I yeah. found. Okay. But yeah, but I think that that somebody could very well um, approach Titanfall and and play it like COD and never get into that uh, that the. the, the you know the larger expanse of the, the possibility space that, that Titanfall from. offers in terms of and and I could you know hey, I I you know I almost did that until I started watching these these Twitch streams and figuring out like watching okay, people who going. were who seemed to know what they were, were doing Go way more than me than me right and, and looking at it and seeing what they they had developed in terms well there's of playing the game. there's yeah. certainly a lot of depth here. And we should play some other like uh, map types after or game modes after this as well. Definitely. Um, but it, it it's one of those things that I don't think was um, Alpha's under attack. Titan ready, fifteen seconds. That it was as as apparent. And I mean even even things like um, I think some of the indications of how different this game game is from from those other uh, from similar titles is the fact that you only have like a, a 6v6 because I think you, the players are so mobile and there's so much going on at any given time that uh, that if you had more uh, because I feel like I feel like even with that Titanfall, what took me the longest time, more than anything, was uh, there's so much going on in terms of the Titan combat and uh, uh, players, uh, players, you know, flying all over the place and that sort of thing. That uh, trying to trying to just discern like what I should do out of all the chaos that's going on on screen. I think that's a a skill all its, all its own, and I think that takes a little while to develop, and I don't know, I, I even feel like it, to some degree, like, that might turn some people off a little bit, uh, like, if, if, if you're, there's just so much going on that it could be overwhelmed, because I know that that's a, a problem that a lot of people have with first-person shooters, uh, is that... I've, I've talked to a lot of people who say that first-person shooters stress them out, and that it, it really, like, you know, they they always feel like they have to be on the ball, and that if there's if they're screwing stuff up, then you know they it, that, that 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 for them shooters aren't a feel good experience. That that other other things are that they're too intense. Well, this so, doesn't really feel stressful. Like the stakes are act they actually are like pretty low. I mean, yeah, like I die and I respawn and I got you know I get my Titan back really quick and it's you know it's all good. That is that is very true. Like in in Call of Duty, when you when you die, like it just it's annoying. Like you you sit there, you have to wait to respawn. Uh, you know, like you're you're you might have had a life that just only lasted a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, you know you don't know where you died from. You, you're not sure like how you should be prioritizing uh, targets and stuff. It, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's a, it's got a definitely like a, a a different feel. <laughs> In a way, it almost you know feels more akin to like uh, like Unreal Tournament meets Tribes or something. Yeah, I I would definitely agree with that. I uh... damage core online. And I feel like like um, trying to get people in that state of that, that state of mind with the game that that it's more second. Sorry, I'm sorry. Shoot. I have a friendly pilot on my Titan. Uh -oh. I was on you for a second. Ah! 
One of the things I, I really do like about the assault rifles is you have these big open rooftops and that sort of thing in this game. And I'm really glad that the uh, assault rifles and that sort of thing are accurate enough that, like, because I, I play as a sniper a lot of the time, and I would feel, I feel like, kind of like garbage if I could just, like, sit halfway across the map and fire at people and nobody really had a chance to engage me from that distance. But people can fire their assault rifles from that distance and actually reliably kill me if I don't get off a, a clean shot, and I think that that's, like, very fair, especially because I feel like sniping in so many games is, uh... Oh, he's gonna blow up, get out of there. Oh. Is balancing that, because, it, you know, a lot of times a sniper sits, like, way, way oh, out. Oh, crap. Wow, that was... That was a really long life as a Titan. I, like, I, I died when I got, like, completely surrounded. I should probably get off this rooftop. I'm silhouetting myself. Oh crap! We got Alpha. Get him, Charlie. We got Charlie. Oh, that guy turned around at just the right time. Oh, he's got disco skeletons on. Okay. You know, the other thing that's nice is the, uh, like, the NPC soldiers, like, make the battlefield feel, like, more alive. Like, even if you're not killing a player, like, you're killing a, like, an AI. Um, yeah. So you never feel like you're just, like, doing so horribly. Um, that, yeah. There, there's always a target that you can take out. It, it's interesting because I, I think that the AI are, are a really nice part of the experience um, overall. But for me, one of the big things that I, I often okay, find is that I'm, I'm very much um, interested in like, like fighting other players and that sort of thing. And it took me a very long time to, uh, to be able to differentiate uh, pilots from other players, or pilots from, from the, um, the just whoever is, you know, doing, uh, from AI, pilots from AI, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and All so, right, a lot of times there'd be a time where I'd awesome think work. early on that I got a pilot kill, and I'd be super excited, and then realize it was an AI, and be kind of bummed. And, um, but that's, that's just, that's just the type of player I am. I mean, I'm like, you know, I don't really play sing, uh, single player experiences, because I'm, I'm very big. Oh, player. ouch. Dude, I just like pulled that guy out of his Titan and like threw him oh, across threw the map. Him, yeah, that's Holy such a, crap. I love that finishing move. The, those are, the, the finishing, the Titan finishing moves are really cool and they're really satisfying. The the they get to can we like blow up their dropship? We can't, yeah, we, right? We totally can. Oh, nice. You can also just snipe the guys that are about to leave. The enemy dropship is here. Take it out. I got away. Oh. oh well. The dropship takes off really fast. <coughs> yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's it's um it's it. I don't know. It, it's I think that the the having the AI in the level. The other thing it too is it gives <coughs> players. It, it sort of goes to the same thing with the, the smart pit pistol. It gives the new players something to do, so they're not getting crushed constantly, and they can still rank up and get experience and all of that stuff, and sort of work on like there are targets that are not so like highly mobile and that sort of thing that they they, they have something to work their way up to killing other players. Let's uh let's back out by the way and go into a different mode. Oh yeah, sounds good. Uh, I don't know if I'm in your guys' lobby or not. We'll get you into it. No, I got a star for something. <laughs> Neat. Uh, you guys are still in the lobby, so I'm assuming. Well, I'm. It's. I'm. 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 Uh, let's see. Connecting to private lobby. Unable to find party server. There we go. No, uh, I'm a Griff right now. All right. Let me. I got. I got kicked to the main <laughs> menu. All right. I just. Uh... 
Ugh. Burn cards. Let's take a look here. My personal favorite um, game mode is Pilot Skirmish. I really like Pilot Skirmish. Um, but let's see, capture the flag. We should we should give capture flag. So capture the flag is interesting to me uh, in games because I often feel like you, <coughs> you get into these situations where where some games I feel like are really designed around capture the flag and others just sort of have it a added. And I'd love to see, I'd let, be really interested to see what you guys think of capture the flag in here because you can you know get on the back of a titan with a flag or, or whatever. But the the, the making that that chasing down the other the, the the enemy flag interesting especially if you're in a situation where they take your flag and they're booking it and they're so highly mobile and it's like can you even catch up with this person or do you even have the opportunity to 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 kill them or whatever i can't remember if uh if uh you need you need to ha in titanfall if you need to have your flag back at your base in order to capture the uh, the enemy flag, because that 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 I think does some very interesting things in terms of uh, making it so that both teams can't just like go back and forth and mutually capture each other's flags over and over and over again, and that one player has one side has to control the field in order to to actually score. Well, capture the flag is always kind of one of those game modes that tends to be like really annoying if you don't have a lot of uh good teamwork and cooperation uh do they still have the bots <coughs> in capture the flag mode as well like do they do anything do they have the what now sorry the the bots like the the grunts i think they do i can't remember it's it's tough to know we'll see if we can find a game here pretty quick because we'll, we'll probably be sitting in this lobby for a little bit in order to play capture oh, okay um but how many people were playing this mode uh, do you want me to back out and check, or...? or uh, no, don't back out and check. Okay. Let's wait it through. Yeah. But... <coughs> I should actually look at burn cards here. and You know, I, I actually... Let's see. Uh, oh, I actually have an autofill empty slots thing. I completely forgot that I had this, uh... Uh... This thing. Oh, that's interesting. It says that I have 100 out of 46 cards. I, I wonder why it... And it says you have too many bird, burn cards. <laughs> Discard 54 cards. You should have never checked. <laughs> Discard them all. Yeah, I just... Buy yourself a, a voice. Or a whatever. voice. I'm assuming that's why the audio size for this thing is so goddamn big. Because they have, well, let's see, six... They have nine different versions of the Titan OS voice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get into CTF. Um, we should check a different mode. Yeah, let's... Well... We tried uh, Attrition. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, um, yeah. Let's see here. We got uh, Hardpoint, Campaign, uh... Is there anybody playing? Let's try to do. Let's try to do a couple of campaign missions. Okay. That should that should match us pretty quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> Gazoon type. There's a cough. I don't know what you're supposed to say for that. I don't think you say anything. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got that check. Go to sleep. Apparently, I have only won three games. Chris. I, I don't. It's Griffin's fault. Oh, good. It's three of us versus one person. This this match should be balanced. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. So you know, I remember reading. Where did I read about this? Internet. I feel like. I can't remember where I, where where um, because because Titanfall uses uh, uh, that Microsoft cloud computing technology for matchmaking, so it takes things into account like uh, your age group and that sort of thing. So people like when it selects people for you to play with in Titanfall, it actually places you 
in you know around your same age group and 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 that sort of thing which is that's weird i don't really uh, care that, what age people that i'm playing with are as long as the is match that is for good. the xbox only or is it i PC? don't know i really don't know because I, I know they do that for yeah i think for like most first party microsoft games they do that yeah which is why when you say something like the people that you're talking with are usually sort of around the page which is kind of weird yeah <clears throat> i like because playing if you don't with, know that uh, <laughs> I like playing with annoying thirteen-year-olds. That's like the best. It's the worst. We should we should see if the orange visor is because I, I I completely spaced out on the orange visor thing. We should see if if what? Uh, so we were talking about. I, I was telling Chris that I feel like uh, I do better when I'm playing against the team with the orange visors, and oh. I don't know if the team enemy team always has orange visors or not. But it feels like sometimes I don't play against an enemy team with orange visors. I, I, I don't you know. Guys we're talking about getting gunners or something and like what no no yeah that would be funny i feel like we're always on the blue team i don't know if we're just like super lucky or unlucky maybe i don't know i i don't know it, it, it probably you know it's probably that i i it's probably they just the enemy always has orange visors i'm uh, guessing well they're like the teams are named differently i am seeing militia i think we're orange now dude we're currently orange. Yeah. Are, are we orange? We have we blue are. visors. So. We're we're orange team, but we have blue visors. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. On my team, on my my thing, we're, our, my my stat thing, we're. we're Griffin, turn back around. Back to turn around. around. Blue. What's going on? Why am I turning around? Oh, never mind. I, my oh. dropship just blew up. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, no, it didn't. I think I just went no, through the atmosphere. The warp drivers. Yeah, so I'm on militia, but like these dudes inside this dropship have like blue visors on. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna head to Alpha. You guys head on. Uh, oh, Charlie. I got Charlie. You guys head to Bravo. Yeah, we're the uh, where's the mute button? I don't know. <laughs> Two people head to Alpha. Uh, whatever. Keep going, guys. I'm. I'm we got a uh, we have a commander on our team. I'm I'm following you, Bernard. Okay, I got uh, I got you back. I'm following yeah, you. I accidentally activated burn cards, so I don't have my. I, I just so put voice chat volume to, <laughs> to zero. I don't. What is this gun even? Griffin was just talking about how like no one chats in this game, and then the first person that chats is just like obnoxiously loud. We had one guy crossing to the left uh, hand side of the map over to, to Bravo. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it towards A right now. Okay. I'm going towards A as well. Oh, there's a sniper. That's a Titan. The Titan sniper, shit. No, oh, there's a sniper up on the, like, where the spaceship thing is. There is a Titan who is not fond of the fact that I am looking at him. So, where is this sniper? In your butt. Because I I'm in a position I can see I can see Bernard's position but hmm? I I'm I'm sneaky it, being all sneaky and I can see you through through you can't see me now yeah uh, you're right um, accessing fueling system stand by okay you got a cloaked okay, guy got Russian. Under control, but I need access to oh, uh, Griff, how do you stick to walls line, so. you just hold oh it's like oh. space. You Sorry. Hold, oh? No, you you hold right click while uh while you okay. uh while you're wall running and then you. I'm gonna just snuck into A. I'm gonna kick him. Are you gonna do the uh, parkour system for Titanfall, the sequel? Okay, buddy, you're I I. Alright, I need- oh, I see a fighter over there. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. There's- there's a titan who's not fond of me standing on this roof. There's a- there's a pilot above you, uh, Bernard. I just got my neck broken. Oh, by, I kicked him. By someone who is very sneaky. Oh, we just had someone hop into the building. Where's the uh, the panel for this turret? Oh crap! 
Oh crap. When am I supposed to use my burn card? Like at, when I'm getting ready to respawn or something? Or is it just automatic? Oh, it's just uh, burn cards you can use whenever you die and respawn. Okay. And you can also use it as being in the game. Okay, boss, you're close to and then it consumes them, yeah. yeah. So it stays active until you die. We got another guy coming in. Why do they want me so bad? Because it's the only point that they have left. But. Alright. Oh. oh, wait, that we have left. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, we're losing. Transferring control yeah, to pilot. I should fix that. Yeah, you they should. Have four Titans active over here. All right, I'm gonna go for Bravo. Just see if I can. My Titans are fighting over there. Shit. Our pilot is attacking our target. Oh. That was cool. Enemy pilot eliminated. Oh, he had a shotgun. Just lost hard point out. Alright. I got no <coughs> They're in a. There. I'm capturing Bravo. Okay, buddy, you're approaching Charlie. I'm at C right now. I don't know if I can, like, actually capture it with a Titan. Can I? Yeah, I believe uh, you can get out of your Titan right and have moon card. I can capture it in my Titan. Alright, smart the salon. Let's go! About goddamn time! Defend the hard point. Okay, buddy, the fuel pumps are online at Alpha. This guy keeps calling me buddy. I'm not your buddy friend. I'm not your friend, guy. Oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. Damage uh, load. Oh, yeah. Infinity Ward always does serve. Infinity Ward S people always do good stuff. <laughs> they always do good what? Uh, C4. It's like the uh -oh. timing on, it's close ready. It's funny, the, the assassination, uh, the smart pistol <laughs> has a, uh, a very uh, distinct, like, sound that it makes when you fire, and if you have headphones on, you can kind of get the directionality of the, of the shot, and so you sort of have this, like, oh no, there's a smart pistol oh boy. over there. God damn it! Yeah, I'm using headphones and the the audio is is really good. I mean, you would expect the audio to be good in a game that has a 50 gig audio installation. Otherwise, <laughs> it would be a little a little pointless. Yeah, the uh, the the directionality of the audio is is pretty good. I mean, this is not a game, I guess, where like uh, that's it can be. listening to footsteps is, is super important or anything, but yeah. Are we winning? Uh, we're we're gonna blow myself up. Yeah. We're, we're super like super close right now. We're we're in the lead by a bit. Double kill. Uh, <laughs> what was going on down there? I just, I, I was trying to sneak up behind some guy and my kick missed by a little uh, bit. Have you, have you done a neck snap yet where you sneak up behind somebody and... Only on a bot. That, that's, that, that's like, those are super satisfying. Oh, it can be. There's... Hello, Mr. Auto Titan. I really want a Titan voice in this game that's like the Goliath from uh, 
from StarCraft. From StarCraft? Yeah. I'm surprised there's not like a uh, like a mod pack for that or something. It's interesting too because I feel like you, I, I although I'm not really much of a uh, a COD player, but um, I feel like I never use the radar. In this game. I, I just I don't know if it's not that I, it's that I haven't habituated myself to it or. No, I should definitely use it. Oh, because I I never find myself looking at the radar. I'm like never looking away from my. Uh, my screen, like I'm always looking where I'm shooting, and it's it's over like in the upper left hand corner, and I'm like I don't have time to look away from. You don't use your radar there. at all. No, I, I never even look at it. Oh, wow, that's crazy. It's so it's so far to the left of my. Uh, it's uh super helpful, dude, and um, it doesn't really seem like out of out of the way for me. I, I don't know. Like just taking a quick like half a second glance or something. I wonder if they do, uh, like if they did any heat map uh, tracking for like where people's eyes are going uh, while they're playing the game. That would be very interesting to find out. Just lost Alpha. Uh, there's a bunch of times of B. Yeah. Are we gonna win this? Yeah, we're in this. Are we? All fuel systems are offline. Alright, I just snapped someone's neck. Oh, well, that was a crash. Oh, wow. Oh, they took all the points somehow. Oh, god, that's not good. Hey, your type will be ready in 60 seconds. Oh, good, there you go. Yeah, I got Same C. Way. Come here, you. Uh. So there's an interesting strategy that the, the the Titans can use to get you off their back without getting a, a lot of David is an exploding weapon of some kind. Uh, they can uh, press themselves against the wall and start firing it, and the AOE will kill you. Hmm. Wait, sorry, what what was that? What? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, we did. Lost the sector CIMC. I think, I mean, if I remember correctly, one thing that was really, like, I think some people were, were, I know I heard about this reaction, I'm not, <coughs> not certain, though, like, exactly the thing, but that there's certain map, the levels in the campaign, where even if you win the match in the story, you still, like, lose and suffer some sort of horrendous defeat of some kind. And there so, there, uh, there was a bunch the of stuff I remember best. hearing about Sarah, how people were like, we, we crushed we the enemy team, and then the story was like, oh no, we've stop. been we're horribly off. defeated, and they were like, what, what's going on? Like, I don't, I don't think that's what happened. And they're like, no. no it's, it's like the, the uh, just leave me sort of thing. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. trying to blow up the dropship. Guys, you can make it. Get out of there! Oh, I can't make it. Drift. Somewhere. Oh I, my I god, it. we made it. We made it out. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. But, uh. I yeah. shot you on accident. I, th I was like, why is this this bad guy getting in the dropship, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, good thing there's no friendly fire. I would never right. would have made it. Um, like, oh no, I'm so sorry, Griffin. <laughs> Oh god. The uh the dropship can take a lot of punishment apparently. Yeah, they really need to concentrate their fire. It, it when the only time they destroy the dropship is when it's like a really concentrated team effort. Like if you have a whole team of titans firing explosive rounds at the dropship, then they can get it. But if you only have like one or two people firing at it, then it, you know, um it, it's basically the the, the 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 dropship destruction is like only something that you accomplish as a team. Hmm. <clears throat> you have 11 pilot kills, Bernard. <laughs> Kinda easy. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, he's using the smart pistol, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's... Of course.
the colony. Oh, uh, this I always uh, I always have a tough time with this map. Like I know Davis really likes this. Um, I don't like the 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 story missions that we're doing. It, I don't, I'm not sure if they have like some sort of clear playback. order to them or if it's just like. It's hard to piece the story together. Cause you don't even start at the beginning, I think. Yeah, it's sort of. Yeah, the yeah. Is like where the people are locking players. Four hours old. Okay. So I think First technically you can like start on the last the level sometimes. You just start what the campaign up. What do you see, three, Yeah. Anything by the tower? Nothing. The tower looks abandoned. We got dead colonists in the Activate satellite no uplink. Got it. Pilots, let's find out what the hell happened here. I wonder why Get they the village and we'll meet up by the south even gate. spent the time to make a campaign mode instead of just focusing the effort elsewhere. I, I think... Convention, probably. I, I think it also probably was a... They probably didn't have the, the time or the resources to build a, a single-player campaign, right, given the, 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 the size of the team and the development cycle. And I think that the expectation of the community was probably that for a because uh, when this game came out it was it was uh, forty nine dollars wasn't it or fifty nine dollars was it? I don't think it was reduced the price. I think it was sixty. It, it was sixty dollars. Um, and so, given given that fact, um, it was probably like it was probably that the expectation of the the community, especially you know. Uh, COD player, you know, the, 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 a lot of the, the, the original, you know, uh, fan base in terms of COD players and stuff, probably expected a, a single player campaign, and I think it was probably their attempt to do it justice, like to, to actually meet that expectation. I don't know. I, I like, I feel like most COD players, they, they wouldn't really care if there was no campaign. I have plenty of friends that are super into COD and they don't even play the single player at all. That, I think that, that's a good portion that play a person because that was one of the big things that uh, that uh, I saw when I was reading like, posts and reviews of, of uh, not just this game but of a lot of games where hey, you, there's sort of this this uh, if uh, if it's going to cost that much it better have a solid single player campaign or that that sort of thing and I feel like I feel like for for the, the that price point the, the People expect both single player and multiplayer, even if the multiplayer is like the the core focal point. I, I don't I don't really know. I'm just sort of speculating here, but um, I don't know. It, it it it's a really good question. To, I'd be curious to. But you got a smart pistol behind their team. You're gonna have to take him out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch to uh, Titan. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Is this a is this a death match? I actually didn't pay attention. Uh, it's to attrition. Game. Okay. Transferring control to pilot. Nice moves. Nice moves. <laughs> Show me your moves. Show me. <laughs> so funny. I just. Uh... The, the, the one of my favorite ones is there's a guy who in the, uh, he says rock and rollin', but the way that he sa uh, says it is just like, I don't know, it's just, it's just great. I have a pilot chasing me. Map, like the, the big thing I, I have trouble with at this map is that it's a, it's a really good deathmatch map, but I, I there's no like centralized location or, or uh, like directionality to the front, nice so I have trouble knowing where to look to find the fight. I just sort of happen to bumble into people rather than like a map like uh, say like Relic, where uh, where there's like a big central fighting area that all the players are funneled through. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do when I jump on a Titan, by the way. Uh, shoot it in the back. I had my rocket launcher, but... Uh, I don't use your rocket launcher. Okay. You know, it'll just kill you with something to damage. Yeah, where's my gas thing? There we go. Be advised. 
just trying not to leave. all of our guys because their names pop oh hello where did you go where where did that pilot go i really want to wanted to shoot him but he just decided to take a leave of absence ai offline pilot mode engaged enemy pilot is i'll just drop a titan here that might be actually be what's happening. Is, is everybody in a Titan right now? Because I that, was in a Titan for a sec. Because a lot of times I've noticed that, like in certain matches, especially matches where everybody's right on top of each other, um, people get kills fast enough to get the ult the Titans pretty quickly. And you end up in situations where. Uh, Trying to help me, Chris. Oh, it's Chris, you're surrounded. I know. Well, well. Ah! Griff, where are you? Hey, Griff, where are you? Should I help you, Griff? Uh, I'm... Okay. Right, watch out, there's another guy coming around the corner. Yeah, I see him. Apparently I'm a Spectre now? Uh, oh. oh, did you burn a card? Yeah. Yeah, you can bring yourself to the Spectre. I feel like someone's trying to shoot me, but it is a really bad job. Did you know that if you hold the directional keys when you eject, you can, like, launch yourself angularly really, really far away from your Titan? That's pretty cool. I don't know if it was intended or not, but I've noticed a lot of people using it to... Get on top of really high places? Yeah, to get on top of really high places, or just get to, like, an objective really fast. So I was worried when we started playing this game that the, uh... Titan versus pilot combat was going to be really like, uh, like really one sided, you know? Like, yeah. But it's, uh, it works like surprisingly well. I mean, yeah, I guess I, feel like it's... I shouldn't be that surprised, but. Like, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, nice. This guy was climbing out the window, and I, like, ran up and kicked him from behind, and he, he went flying out the window. <laughs> Nuclear explosion. Uh, uh, oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> he got all you guys. Yeah, I there was a there was another Titan. I was trying to boost past him, but I got stuck between him and a friendly Titan. And I was like, oh man, this is gonna end really poorly for me. Alright, Bernard, let's do this. was already a legend when I was just a rookie. Can I like repair you like R2D2? No. Right, That's dumb. I should be able to jump on and repair you. It's good because uh, when you're riding me, I can't get uh, rodeoed by other people. That's cool. No, I see you got on the roof. You see him, Chris? Where? Got him. Yeah, good. Going in. Bye. Find some real people. Uh-oh. Should be fine, I guess. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm trying to provide rooftop cover for you guys. Thanks. I'll use my overshield. Oh, this, oh, is, this is great. Just keep, keep walking around. Oh, walking crap. Around, guys, they're so focused on you guys that I can just pick them off while they're firing their uh, I'm trying to get a beat on this other Titan though with the rocket launcher. I can't do it. Ooh. Behind us. Behind us. Yeah. That's the far guy. Where'd y'all go? You see that guy in front of us? You got it. Oh, he's down, down, he's down. We spot him there. Alright, this one we're definitely gonna win. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
that was uh that was amazing that uh that rodeo uh or like me riding on a titan is so much fun <coughs> we gotta get to their dropship come on yeah, no, no, I'm looking for the travelers. Come on. Come they, on they, try to stay, they stay away from the drop plate like, for like the majority of the travelers. We didn't want any party of the war, so you brought it to our doorstep. Those are civilians getting slaughtered. Those are civilians getting slaughtered. Punch. Punch. This is James McCallum, former of the IMC. You want to help? Correct. Oh crap. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Is he going to explode? Hold on. I'm getting I don't know. On this oh, we won. <laughs> you should have stayed gone solid with Kavis. It, it's interesting. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's easier to cooperate side, as a team when you're in the Titans because We're the Titans so are a little bit slower and easier to see, so you don't like get all scattered all over the place while parkouring. Definitely true. Well, plus yeah. like the co-op dynamic in this when you have a an organized team is so much more fun than Call of Duty. <laughs> Just like because the amount of stuff that we can do, yeah, that's where I was saying earlier, like the the depth, uh, in the multiplayer, like makes for some really cool moments, like when people are coordinating. Yeah. Wow, I got so many challenges just from riding on your Titan. Like I think <laughs> I'm gonna gain like 15 levels. See what burn card I got. <laughs> okay, let's buy more burn cards. Oh shit! Three seconds. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know how they price those burn cards, but they don't seem <laughs> to be worth the cost. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is to get burn cards through challenges. Right, I'm doing that, but then like there's those uh, ones that are on packs, or like oh, you can yeah. buy packs of them, but they cost like <coughs> two hundred thousand, and you only get a hundred per burn card you sell. Mm, that makes sense. So. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Just hit him with the with the ship. <laughs> put her put her down. You get to the top of that carrier. You got it. Deploy all your Someone stole my rock collection. We need to buy <laughs> My favorite one is missing. <laughs> Go get it. Fish. I'm gonna transmit the intel from the Odyssey. I'm going in. Stand by. Let's go get this man's rock collection. Yeah, you guys right, are you guys, this is a battle of attrition. Uh, Keep the IMC out of McAllen's hair. What is this? Yeah. To escape. Okay. What'd you ask? Loading in? I'm loading. Man, we're taking orders from this McAllen now. God damn it! I just had to be the one to get killed first. I think I might have lost the connection. Oh no! But uh. Game hasn't noticed that yet, so. <laughs> Pilot, your Titan will be ready in two minutes. You know, I, I don't really find myself getting killed by the smart pistol as much as I thought I would. Yeah. It's because a lot of people don't use it. And I and I feel like I do much better with like the carbine or the SMG than I do with the smart pistol. Mm. It's like smart pistol only seems really great if I want to uh, just farm grunts or something. Sure. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's good if you want to get like really fast titans. If you get good with it, you can wreck wreck other players. Yeah. It's. Uh... And it's interesting though, because it, it has this very distinct uh, popping shot to it. Like, like there's a certain pop to the way that the shot sounds, and every single time I hear it, I'm just immediately on alert looking for the smart pistol. Yeah. Um, <coughs> oh, man. 
That's the thing that I really, I, I think I mentioned this before, but I really like the, uh, Oh, I got stepped on. Uh, it still says that there's one slot connecting. It's just sitting on connecting. Is that, was that me? Uh, it would be your slot, yes. So I'm preventing myself from joining the game? Yep. Oh. It's super meta. We should hop out so Bernard can get in on that. Yeah, don't worry about it. We should the last, like, Yeah. I'm, I'm still not used to the whole lobby thing. I feel like, a, like an angry old fart, I guess, when you're the lobby. You want your server. I, 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 I like, I like, I miss my servers, like, just back from the good old days. But the other thing is, is that, um... Damn right, fish. Shut that place down. The IMC oh, I, the guy's name is Bish. And I thought he said like bitch them. for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> like, why is he talking boss, to him to a, like that? Aren't they on the same team? Anyways, uh, but uh, I'm not used to like the, the one minute downtime between each of the matches. And yeah, I don't know. I, 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 uh, uh, I don't know why that throws me off. But I'm just not used to. I'm, I'm used to instant gratification, not having to not having to wait one minute between matches. Oops. I guess you got to get decently far away from nuclear ejections. Who, yeah. who would have thought? <laughs> How did? Oh. We're getting our ass you. Keep it together there we go. There. Probably drop my Titan. Oh. One thing that I I wish I, I knew more about, or I, like I could see more clearly, is like how much damage I'm actually inflicting on a Titan when I'm using my rocket launcher. Oh yeah. Doesn't it pop up a, a health thing when you aim at the Titan? Is that the health thing for the Titan that's popping up yeah, on the top right? <laughs> okay. So you'll know when it goes into like the, the hazard symbol. That it's you don't know the half of it. Yeah, they're not. They're not hiding anymore. Oh, damn. This intel is a gold mine, Mac. But kicking the IMC out of the frontier? It's just impossible. It's just impossible. Wrong word, fish. This scenario can work. I know it. And so does Gray. Yeah. How? Let's just say that once upon a time, we worked it out together. How do they, like, make titans so fast? Do they just have, like, this factory that just builds titans, like, really, really quickly? They make them faster to do well. <laughs> They're just they're inspired to build the titan faster if you kill enemies. They watch it to feed them what you're doing. Oh, look at the recorder! We're gonna have to rely on the gallon to fill in the blanks. Like, where do they get all the metal from? Uh, maybe they just pull the spaceship apart. Well, like, cause they just drop them from space, so they probably just, like, tear, like, you know, plating and stuff off the side of the spaceship. And then build sense. it into a Titan, and then drop it out of space. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Maybe, maybe they have, like, a giant vacuum cleaner on the spaceship that just sucks up, like, old scrap all metal. All the scraps, yeah. And, and, and Titans, they just, like, stick it down on a planet and vacuum up all the, the broken... Oh, God! Broken Titan bits. Speaking of Titans, there's one firing, firing things at me. Oh, 
Oh man. That that triple threat. Yeah. Oh no, the block! No! No! You fell for it. They, they, they've got this trap. Ah. You fire, they fire the triple threat up at the bottom of the, the ship. And it right as down. I was jumping into it, it blew up. Yeah, they just they just got... No! Uh, we just got... We got shrekt. Alright, let's uh, switch over to a different game mode, I guess. Alright. Let's, let me invite Bernard. Weird sound. Wait, was weird sound? The invite sound. Ow. Oh, it, I'm no longer in a group with anybody. I know, I just invited you. Oh. Join game. Okay. Wow, there are a lot of Titan voices. Yeah. yeah. I want a Japanese Hello, Titan. There is one. I know, I'm looking at it. Oh. It's only 20,000. Okay, let's see. Uh, Frontier Defense. Have we tried that one out yet? That's the cooperative one. We, we should do that one. Okay. Oh, co -op? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. It's Tower Defense. Uh, let's still try it. There are a lot of people playing it. We should be able to get into a match. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Cool. It's like the second highest played one, it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty popular. Griff the gnome. <coughs> oh, we just need one person? Uh, yeah, I th yeah, I didn't realize it was only four players. I thought it would supported five, but can we just go anyway? It won't start. Know. It's trying to match. <sighs> right. After a couple more matches, I'll probably have to run because I gotta finish up that uh, that test. That's fine. Schaefer test? Uh, no, it's uh for Thornton. It's it's uh. Okay. Yeah, it's it's pop, a pop culture class. It's really solid though. Like it, it's a. Yeah. I guess it's just starting with the three of us. Oh. <laughs> this is the only this is the only map I've ever played Frontier Defense on. Hmm. Maybe it's the only frontier defense map there is. That would that would be interesting. Lagoon. <laughs> How the hell is a spaceship that size <laughs> get off the atmosphere? Very carefully. <laughs> Lots of thrusters. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's. Uh... I guess somebody is connecting. Are they? Yeah, Sorry. it says waiting for players uh, two out of four. And one is loading and one is connecting. Oh, interesting. He doesn't steal my spot. Well, I think you're loading. I hope so. <laughs> Mine just says waiting for players. That's it. Well, if you hit if you hit tab, it brings it up and shows you the state. Oh. It also says retries remaining two. Maybe Bernard okay. is trying to load and connect. Yeah, that um, <laughs> I can't for both slots. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jumping in three, two, uh -oh. one. It's just starting without him. Come on, Lagoon. We got Core <laughs> Riley, but not yeah, Bernard. Yeah, we got this. Uh, we, oh, no. Uh, Look at this cool, happy face computer guy. <laughs> <laughs> we both 
Time to go to work. That was cool. Yeah, that was very. That was the IMC and keep the area so clear. So if they defend this this here thing, this this here this here the thing, the harvester, this done here thing, this done, this dern. I most definitely lost connection. Oh no. Quit doing that, dude. This happens two times in a row. Get ready. First wave inbound. For a real challenge, create a custom frontier drop defense match with the only you or friends. In the infantry. You should be able it. to join us, right? Uh, if the slot Keep an eye on your mini it, so Yeah, it is. The IMC so, and if, if this decides to realize... <laughs> I lost connection. It's a nice screen shot, though. Oh. We get to place turrets too, that's the other thing I remember. What? Is that a call gun pen? No, we can we can play we get those too, but we also get to place turrets. Get better at shooting people because <laughs> I'm I'm having a, a hard time shooting these grunts who are walking at like a jogging pace. Yeah. Because you actually yeah. with the Kraber rifle you actually have to lead targets. Pilot, it's not it's not hit scan. It's, it's actually uh, either that or it's either that or I it feels at least like it's it's uh, it's uh, ballistic projectile instead of hit scan because. Um, down, Looks like he's connected now. Excellent. Yeah. All right. You guys are losing health on the harvester. Yeah, we yeah, are. We are. We're it's because really we didn't have you. Guys firing on him. Far away. I'm coming in for a land. Right about. Oh. oh, I brought, brought a friend with me. Oh, that was crazy. We're shooting it. I should probably get a light machine gun instead of this Kraber rifle because this is definitely not the weapon for this kind of game mode. Alright, I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get the light machine gun and then we'll we'll fix this here dilemma. I don't think so. There was something really big us. Side sprints. Uh, they throw a few pipes. The while the and what? They're, they're suicide pipes. Oh you. god. That sounds horrible. <laughs> that does sound horrible. Yeah, this is just the first wave, so... Yeah, we're like already getting dominated, by the way. Yeah. Transferring to pilot. Harvester shields absorbing damage. Clear out whatever's damaged what? yet. What is... For the first place. Is there an artillery titan that we don't know about? What's going on here? One left to go. Take it out, team. Hooray! Nice job, team. All clear for now. We've got a turret ready to go. Place it somewhere and it'll do the rest. Where should I place turrets? Up on the, like, a roof or something. Yeah. Heads up, team. There's a new wave dropping in. Look out for mortar titans. They'll barrage the harvester from a distance, so use your minimap. Yeah. To they... Oh, oops. I blew up my titan. I just wanted to get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. How do you get out of your titan without blowing it up? You just press E, I think. Oh without man. Tapping it. You just press the button. Um. I'm gonna put this right here. Did the uh, turrets run out of ammo? I don't think they do. 
And you get more of them. You, you, I think you have, like, you get place like, a maximum of three of them or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that Mortar Titan so it stops shelling me. Oh, here's another mortar titan. Oh yeah, he's shelling the objective. And shelling me as well. Got a bunch of suicide specters approaching the harbor. Oh no. Team, I don't like the sound of suicide there. specters. There they come. In a straight line. I think what's cool about them doing pilot, like a completely multiplayer game is it let them focus on like building a lot of really fun and like diverse multiplayer modes. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, we still got a board Titan out there. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. He's in some damage. I'll, I'll go get him. <laughs> Did you leave your Titan right next to me? Yeah, I it was like... Halfway down. Nice defense, team. The harvester barely took any damage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Your turret is available, pilot. Set it up and it'll fire on any inbound threat. Will it? I'm actually running out of Heads up, team. More contacts on the way. Got some nuke titans inbound. They'll detonate oh near the harvester, so that focus your fire and keep them fun. at a distance. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to do about that. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Jeff -o. Oh, oh man. Out there. The harvester right, well, taking some hits. Clear. Go take care of it. Oh, I was just taking care of that. Friendly pilot, back in action. I don't know where my job. Titan is. It's right. uh, oh, there it is. Hey, I'm hello, available. Titan. Put it someplace where it can do some damage. I, I'm basically stacking all of my turrets on the left hand side here. I'm gonna stack them next to this guy's turrets. <coughs> Got 
carpet bomb. Four IMC incoming. Um, You're ready to go again. <laughs> you got incoming well, war sites along with death. suicide specters. It's interesting. Take them out. The, uh, you might need to split up down there. This game, huh? Yeah. It helps a lot. Getting a lot of pings everywhere. You're gonna go straight for the nuke titan. Uh, oh yeah, I see one. Wait, which one? Uh, left hand side nuke titan. Okay. <coughs> Do they take less damage than regular titans, or? Uh... About the same. I think they don't have a shield. Good. Harvester shields are dropping. We gotta get the mortar, you guys. Oh, that's the mortar. That's the okay, I'll go for the mortar. Alright, because I'm coming with you. Oh, there's multiple mortar titans. He has some sort of shield. The harvester shields are down. Clear out the area, pilot. The mortar titans are the nuke titans. They don't think the nuke titans have a shield. The mortar, mortar titans. Alright, they are surrounding our generator. And our turrets are not facing the right way, so. That's a great place for your turret. Doing a ton of damage. Not look good. Jump fast. Whoever placed a turret facing in this direction is a lifesaver. Which direction? Uh, you're, it's your turret, Chris. You, you placed it facing, like, up the hill. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, like, totally saving us right now. Alright, one left. Down to the left contact, pilot. Finish it off. Alright. Okay, team, it looks clear from up here. I'm gonna put my turret up here next to yours, Chris, so that we just have like a, a ton of fire going in that direction. Cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stick around the generator this time. Yeah, same. There's another wave heading your way. No, we need we need more people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> down the okay, okay, I can do that. And mortar titans inbound team. But they don't have some titans behind us, them. so I can take out the infantry pretty fast. Okay. Sounds like the plan. We gotta get those new titans like ASAP. Yeah. Did they? Did they even make it? To the oh shit! No, they didn't get close. They do so much damage. If uh, if you let the them get. The harvester shield's taking some hits. Go take care of it. I'm not seeing any new titans. Or oh, they're they're gonna be coming. Don't you worry. Your turret's in a nice location there. Really tearing up the IMC. Okay, I see a mortar titan. I'm heading for him. Here comes the new titan. The heart of the shield just went right down. It's taking permanent damage. Whoa, lots of nuke titans down there. Don't oh, let them yeah, the there's a lot of nuke titans. That's not good. I think I get really close. Beam got a nuke titan approaching. Don't let it detonate near the harvester. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Really 25%. Pilot, it can't take much more damage. Oh, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we lost. We get multiple attempts, I think. The harvester oh, really? is down. I think so, yeah. They summoned the harvester time. down? This time will be different. Let's try that again, guys. I'm gonna reset the harvester beam. Is there like a goal? Titan's ready for combat. Call one. Uh, I think you get like three tries. Or something. Got a turret ready to go. Place it somewhere, and it'll do the rest. Oh, did we pick up from where we left off? Okay, your Titan's ready. Uh, I'm not ready. sure. We got a turret. Yeah, all our turrets are exactly where they should be. Pilot, these guys aren't done. Be careful, we only have two chances left.
two chances left. Okay. I think we're retrying this one then. Yeah, it's the same wave. Don't forget, you've got a turret ready to deploy. Set it up whenever you get the team. Protect the harvester while the shield recharges. I'm looking Your for uh really up the IMC. Seems like you placed it perfectly. Harvester shield's absorbing damage. Clear oh, out whatever's damage. Tight. Is. I'm gonna go for the murder tight. Two Titans coming from the right side, two new Titans. I see him. Nah, uh, they're, they're gonna hit him hard. Uh, three of them. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh, wow. Okay. Harvester is down. I repeat, Harvester is down. You know, we need a way to take out those Titans faster. Oof. Okay, team. I'm Brutal. firing up the Harvester again. Don't forget, your Titan's ready to go. Call it if you need it. Oh my goodness. Cannot get up this ledge. Yeah, I'm gonna get in a tight. Fire team, there's another wave on the way. Remember, this is the last chance we've got. Yeah, I'll probably get a tight one, too. It's game over. I like how he used it's game over as a line. Transferring control to pilot. Alright, let's take out some tents. The harvester shields are about to go down. Enemy got a nuke tight close. Don't let it detonate the harvester. I'm doing my best. Down. Suicide specter is good. Titan and uh, Mortar Titan over here. Okay, I'm taking the one, the new Titan out on the left hand side. Team, protect the harvester while the shield recharges. Oh god, back up. Okay, there we go. All right, there's a bunch of guns on that side. So we're, we're gonna take care of it. Okay, I just what about the new Titans? Oh, uh, we got them here. Okay, you got them. Okay. Oh, I got it. Mortar's to the left. Right, go oh god, I just killed myself with my own nuclear ejection because I am a champ. There's a bunch of minions coming from the other side. Another mortar Titan, you got that one? Yeah, yeah, right. Alright, he's down. Bunch of minions on the left side. Okay. I have a turret that has killed a titan, apparently. Really? Yeah. Wow. Sniper Spectre. 
Yeah. Oh man, they are accurate. Yeah, more guys coming. There's something over here. One of them just mid air. I was like flying through the air and just like. Don't spam it, just like hold down E. Hold E. Ah, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Let's try this one more time. This is the last wave, pilots. Buckle last down and push. defend the harvester. Titan's gonna explode. I'm seeing signatures indicating suicide specters and nuke titans. They'll be rushing you fast. Be ready. Oh, that's it. Alright. Just the two then. Oh, they are swarming real fast. Oh, jeez. Watch out, team. We're seeing a whole lot of suicide specters rushing the harvester. Harvester shields absorbing damage. Clear out whatever's damaging it. There's hiding over there. Hiding getting really close over here. The harvester. Take it out before it detonates. That's another one down over there. My turn is going to stay on the side of the shirt. Pilot, you've got to stop the incoming damage. Oh, mortars. Wait, mortars? No. There's still one loot to do plus. What we haven't really been trying to do is like actually mount these titans to take them I, out. Uh, That's what I've been doing, but it's hard to get close to them. Uh, I, I like I like the third game, the 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 R5. It's just oh like man, this just dive yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty fun mode. There's like a lot of uh, strategy that has to go into that. Yeah, definitely. It's. Uh, it's interesting because it, it seems like it's weighted heavily towards those last two waves. Well, yeah, usually when you have a mode like that in any shooter, that's that's almost always how it goes down. Interesting. I guess you have to sort of like accumulate the turrets and that sort of thing over the, the first couple of waves and then... Well, yeah, plus it just, for the... I mean, it, it just generally gets harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black market. Black market. Oh, I guess you just have enough credits now for that to show up, or I hit the the right level or something. Probably, uh, yeah. I just unlocked the sniper. Um, do you want to do this again, or? Why don't we do it? Why don't we give it one more time? Uh, try. It'd be interesting to see it uh, in a different map because yeah, I, I haven't. Let me like check out my cards real quick. <laughs> Side 
Okay, so I'm gonna get the amped archer missiles. That should yeah, help. I'm gonna. Scoring hits on reduced build time. Don't really need that. Yeah, I have Kirby burn cards for this. Oh, whatever. And I'm gonna get double agent. Faster legs, that might help. I just got the plasma railgun. Let me like maybe build a titan or something to see. Is the plasma railgun like pretty good? I don't know which one that is. Um, I am not certain. All right, let's try it out. Dude, there's a Jeeves voice for the Titan. I'm totally on board with that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start matching. Are you guys ready? All right, sounds good. Go for it. <coughs> Jeez, that sounds like a monster. There's just like this evolve ad sitting in the corner of my Twitch stream, and oh, yeah? kind of want to try it out. Kinda play is it is it fun? Uh, I don't know. I only played the beta, so I can't really give. Yeah. I might try it. Out. I don't know. Who's, who's questioning you about Titanfall? What was that? Questioning somebody, me? No, questioning Bernard, I think. Oh. Did, maybe he put his headphones down, I don't know. It's gonna get disconnected again. Nope. Uh, uh, oh wow. This is an interesting map. It's very open. If it, if this is the one I'm thinking of. Alright, so let's try to like figure out what we're doing wrong. Um uh, we're not that Well it's go time, team. I powered up the harbor. Let's just like try to coordinate a little bit better, like which ones we're going after, so we can go like two on one them and burn them down really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure where the deployment. Oh, they did. They deployed us like in the center of the map. 
This actually looks like the the map is laid out well for uh, for turret placement. But yeah. I don't know because okay. we'll have go. to see where the enemies start spawning from. But there's like a lot of like uh, elevation Sons and then some like big there. wide open spaces where the turrets can like take people out. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if they'll deploy them just because it's sort of a linear map, place. like a lot, it's longer than it is wide, and I wonder if they'll just deploy them on either side of us. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, it looks like they're deploying them really close. Yeah. And grenade. Infantry all around the harvester. Oh, dude, jeez. Oh, I just blew up like a bunch of guys, though, so that was nice. Boy, they're crawling all over the place. Yeah, man. Action kick. Oh. It's interesting, the way that the light machine gun is designed, um, it steadies out after you fire it for a little bit, so it's it's set up in such a way that you can't really fire it and control bursts accurately. You have to hold down the trigger and spray it. Because, oh, really? I have yeah. been using bursts for it. With it, with the with the heavy machine gun. Oh no, the carbine. Sorry. Oh no, no, no. The uh, the the heavy machine gun. Uh, the I can't. The Spitfire LMG. It, okay. it, it kicks really wildly when you first start firing it, and then after you fire it for like a second or so, it steadies out. Um, uh oh. Which is oh, interesting. Just, oh, we lost the other guy. Oh, there's like an enemy titan right here. <laughs> uh, derp. I'm gonna set my turret like up here in the back. Should we put ours up here. We should like yeah, create like place. a crossfire. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine on, on this edge here facing the harvester. Okay. Yeah, mine's gonna face away from the harvester. Got another wave of IMC warping in. Looks like you got suicide specters. They'll rush the target and detonate, specters. so take them out at range. <laughs> Did you say wham wham wham? <laughs> They come in fast from the left. Oh. And that's done. Okay. <laughs> Alright, they come in fast. Just from like the right. land your Titan on them. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Actually. Shoot the rockets. Or shoot the dropship. Nice. Oh, Titan didn't come in. Oh, oh yeah. Harvester shield is recharged. Don't let the IMC damage it. Right. Got a whole lot of suicide specters. Closing ground fast. Another one. Take them down. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so don't shoot those when they're close to you. <laughs> the suicide specters? Yeah, they still detonate when they die. Oh, fun. Oh, we 
went down. It was the other guy. Or... Okay. Alright, we're good. Well, you can't do any Not better than bad. That. Harvester Harvest health is perfect. Nice job. Hmm. You've got a turret ready to go. Place it somewhere and it'll do the rest. I'm just gonna like four corner this tower. Alright, I'm gonna place mine a little over here. So we don't get hit by those suicide tires. Uh, suicide, uh, Pilots specters so hard. Yeah. Cause there's like underground pathways inbound. that They'll detonate are hard near the harvester, cover. so focus your fire yeah. and keep them at a distance. New Titans. New Titans? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we just focus on them first? I, yeah, I think so. I think the Mortar Titan is really interesting now because all the Nuke Titan is close. Get it. Alright, I'm ready on it. That's me. Uh, oh. Okay. 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 Um, okay. I, I think the Mortar Titan is really interesting now because they force you to go away from the Harvester. Like, they pull you away from the Harvester. Uh, Ogre, okay. real close. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's getting shrekt, okay. Hopefully nobody shoots me off the back of this pipe. Okay, there we go, alright. Um, mm -hmm. Do I not have ammo? Oh, I don't have ammo. There's, uh, there's an ammo point. Like on the map. There's one yeah. underneath that middle thing where yeah. like the, the yeah. big green one, yeah. Oh wow, they've already taken out a lot of our turrets. Have they? Yeah, yeah. there's only the my one new one on the road. Oh, my turrets are like cleaning up right now, dude. That's good. Oh, there's another nuke titan. Uh yep. Yeah. I think I need to put my turret somewhere where like it uh, turns a blind post. corner or Don't something into fire. Then, there's another new Titan. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading I'm making, over. A, making a beeline for the Titan. Oh my god, there's another one? Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, I, <laughs> I just... He just... <laughs> I just blew oh, myself up with my... Titan just came in. indoors. There's no way I'm getting out of here alive. Oh, how did that happen? I'm okay. That was, that was really <laughs> funny, dude. Oh, the the part went inside, or? No, that I blew myself up with my rocket. Oh. Another one? Oh, god damn. Friendly pilot, back in action. Down, new titan, now new titan's gonna explode. Okay, shoot. Hey, your turret's taking the hunter's shield just went down. It's taking permanent damage. You know what? Here, oh. Damn it. I was trying to drop my titan on the new titan, and I got shot in the process. I can call my Titan while I'm in the ship ready to respawn. <laughs> That's pretty great. And I'm shooting past the shields. Team's got a new Titan approaching. Don't let it detonate near the harvester. Outside, there we go. Oh, I can still participate. I just realized, like, even though I'm, I'm respawning, technically. You can still shoot and stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's really neat. And we're good. Looks like that's the Excellent. last of them. We barely touched Jeez. the harvester that time. Way to go. Alright, uh, I need put to figure out where I can do some damage. put this turret so that it will just shred folks. Yeah, I lost my other turrets. Heads up team, more contacts Should on the way. Worry about. More They're bringing ammo, in arc titans. Their arc field will totally fry energy shields, so be careful. I'm just gonna put this thing here, I don't know where else to put it. I put mine at a weird angle. I think they're 360. Oh, okay. There's a Titan back here. <coughs> oh man, he's just like... That arc Titan is just... Oh wow, this uh, amped up rocket launcher is kind of badass. Down. It's like super slow, but it uh, does a ton of damage. Friendly pilot, back in action. Harvester shield is recharging. Don't let the IMC damage. 
damage it. I am I'm getting shrecked by all of these uh There's so many titans. Oh my goodness. I like came out of the dropship and straight oh, into the water. On. One guy left? Oh. I do have the damage that he blew me up. Oh, oh, oh. Clear out whatever's damaging man. it. We just had like 15 million titans spawn on Violence us all at once. A few IMC left. Sweep them out. Suiciders coming in. Two guys left on the right. Yeah, just keep them that way. One guy left over there. We get. Nice job, team. All clear for now. We've got a turret ready to go. Place it somewhere, and it'll do the rest. Okay, so you got the Spectre Cloak. So this is the final wave, pilots. Hold them off just a bit longer. I don't know if that real works, though. You got <laughs> Arc Titans bug. and Nuke Titans inbound, guys. You might want to hang back and oh let them come God, to you. Oh, God, that's a long list. Oh, here comes a Nuke Titan. Is this the last wave? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Titan approaching the harvester. Take yeah, it out new close. Uh, come back here, new Titan. The I need to rodeo you. Oh, is that okay? That's what's going on. Oh no. Oh crap. Uh, 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 oh no. You guys get out. Yeah, I got no, out. Okay, I, I, I died. Hey, he, uh, uh, we got a Strider. There's another new Titan. I'm on. The, I'm on. On this nice right here. Hopefully, I won't get shot off. The oh, that's the that's really recharged. close. That's really close. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. GTFO. You got him, right? Yeah, he's down. I just want to make sure I can get clear. Team, we just oh. Out there. The All right, Titan, let's do this. AI on fly. Oh, Don't let the IMC damage it. Vector on me. Uh, 
Ogre coming in. Harvester health is at 75 Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm shooting the Ogre, but help's going down with that. Pilot All right. Oh, there's a new Titan again. Oh, no. How come I can't rodeo this guy? Uh, uh, somebody's ready on him. I oh, really? Oh, oh, there is. You're gonna be for a moment. Uh, two Titans just came down. Alright. <laughs> <Corner, laughs> Both sides, both sides. There's three coming from one direction. Jeez, our, our harvester, you guys. Oh no. We've got a pilot down. Ah, what? Friendly pilot, back in action. Pilot, the harvester is taking a lot of damage. Get over there and protect it. <laughs> Look like it. Like what? Get up on the thing. New tide coming in hard. Stop it. Oh no. Shoot oh. that. Oh my god, what on earth, dude? Look at the health yeah. on the harvester. Oh, oh, look at that. Holy cow. <clears throat> look, look at look at the dip at the very end oh, there. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was quite something. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. Uh, I actually oh, okay. have to go, but uh, one second. You, you have to go or you don't have to go? Thanks, Griff. Just take off. I think he said he had it going. I just crashed, so I'm relaunching. Okay. I'm still playing. That's fine. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. Shut through the chicken. Hmm? Do you upgrade the chicken or do I gotta run, but uh, we should do this again sometime. Yeah, no worries.